everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be reviewing the nyx lingerie xxl liquid matte lipstick now i saw these at ulta and they were on an end cap that said new um but when i looked it up online it doesn't look like it's that new but it's new to me i've never tried it so we're still going to review it um so let's get right into it we are we're first going to talk about it so this is the NYX Lingerie XXL Long Lasting Matte Liquid Lipstick. It was $9. I was able to use a $3.50 off coupon. It says here, meet the first liquid shapewear for your lips with NYX Professional Makeup Lip Lingerie XXL Long Lasting Matte Liquid Lipstick. That was a long sentence and I think it was like a tongue twister. 16 hour full smooth matte lip color that moves with you, no transfer, all day comfort, 100% vegan, lightweight, comfortable, all day, one swipe, full coverage color, available in 24 nude lip shades, amped with your color saturation, nude lip. I don't, I got like a hot pink, so I don't really think that's nude, but okay. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very chic. Kind of looks like all their NYX products, in my opinion. First, I picked up two shades, um, just because one, I saw the pink, and I'm like, you know what? I don't, I haven't worn a bright pink lip in a while, except when I started this video. I filmed right before this, I did a bright pink, because I honestly haven't done a pink in a while. Um, so I did pick up this one. This is in the shade Pink Hit and turn on which is a nice um brown nude so we're gonna do the nude first and i'm going to take my la girl jordana nope la girl cafe lip liner which is a nice brown which is perfect for this shade i love this lip liner I feel like it makes my lips look so good and so plump so let's go ahead and do this it said one swipe super pigmented let's see <laughs> I didn't even apply that in a straight line okay let's fix this oh wow it's drying already Okay, so it's drying already. Super pigmented. And this is the exact shade as the lip liner Cafe in Jordana. Uh, the exact shade in LA Girl lip liner. Oh my god. This is so creamy. It goes on so buttery. I feel like it goes on like a chapstick. Like, so creamy. It's drying very quickly. It's not fully dry yet, so we're not gonna check the transfer proof. Oh my god, I love this shade though. It's not fully dry yet. I feel like it's still drying because it's not, because it's still showing up on my hand. It looks dry, like it looks like it's matte already. Um. It feels so comfortable on the lips, like it feels so, so nice. Okay, so we are going to do the transfer proof. I waited a little bit. I feel like it definitely dried more. Um, it looks matte, but it doesn't look matte where it looks like it's drying out your lips. Like it doesn't make your lips look dry. It doesn't make your lips feel dry. It feels very nice on my lips. I will say that. Um, so let's go ahead and do a transfer proof. This was the first one. I don't think I waited long enough to let it dry. And this is the second one. There is no makeup. This is definitely transfer proof. Definitely transfer proof, no makeup. And this shade looks gorgeous. Guys, I am obsessed with this shade. I, You guys will definitely be seeing this shade a lot um, because it is beautiful. It's like a perfect brown nude. I feel like it would go with everything, no matter what you're wearing, no matter what colors you have on your makeup. And honestly, I filmed my whole makeup routine and I love that pink shade that I did have on, but honestly, my eye makeup with this lip shade is beautiful. Me and my boyfriend are going on a date night this weekend and I will be wearing this entire makeup with this lip it is stunning um let's go ahead and take this off and now we are going to do the shade pink hit oh see how it comes off comes off super easy so that's nice 
Let's go in with our beauty blender. Let's just go over that. Mind you, this isn't even from Beauty Blender. This is from Beauty Bakery. This was on sale on BoxyCharm and I ordered it and I lost the other ones already. But I will say I love this sponge and honestly, I feel like I may like it better than a Beauty Blender. Like, yeah, it's really, really good. And I think this was like so affordable. I will link this down below, but I honestly have been liking this more than a Beauty Blender. This is the shade Pink Hit. Oh, it's actually exactly the same as the bottle. Super pigmented. I love the brush because it has like a little pointer to it, which makes it really easy to go along like the lip liner. So this is the shade Pink Hit, and I'm feeling it. <laughs> so that's a bummer. My main light just died, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, so I'm not going to have time to charge it and, you know, finish filming this. So I'm just going to go ahead and film it the way it is. The lighting doesn't look too terrible. It actually looks kind of good actually um i feel like you could see a little bit more true to color rather than that bright light was super bright where sometimes it doesn't actually show the full um color so i'm actually okay with it um so yeah this is the shade pink hit and honestly i am loving it i love pink shade i know my nails are orange doesn't even match i honestly love pink shades for the summer and the spring even though we passed the spring but honestly i love the pink shades i think it is so pretty and honestly this matches perfectly to the bottle even this one this one matched perfectly i'm like holding it up as if i'm still wearing the nude this actually matched perfectly to that shade so if you are in store and you're not sure what shade you want to pick up um definitely look at the bottles because it pretty identical to what it looks like on my lips um i am obsessed with these lip products it is a liquid matte lipstick but it is not drying like yes it looks matte it's supposed to be it is a matte product but it does not dry out my lips it doesn't make my lips look dry like it's not cracking in between my dryness because i do have pretty dry lips right now um it just looks so good it makes my lips look hydrating like kind of looks like i put a lip mask on before which is what i normally do when i'm wearing a matte lipstick so like my Anastasia ones I feel like I need to um, but this one I didn't even do that because I wanted to actually see how it really performs I feel like a lot of my NYX reviews are like bad I could be wrong but I feel like a lot of them are bad and I'm obsessed with these I think these are really really nice and I feel like it just looks so nice I give these a hundred percent a thumbs up I think you need these and I think they're super affordable and honestly it feels like a high-end product to be honest like it really feels like a high-end product with how pigmented it is how comfortable it is um yeah I give these a thumbs up and I think you guys should go out and get them and let me know what you guys think um, but yeah, that is my final thoughts on the NYX Lingerie XXL. So now my camera stopped recording because my memory card said full. Of course, this is happening to me right now. Um, but I was basically just ending off this video saying that I really love these and I definitely, definitely recommend these. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you guys are not already, please don't forget to subscribe before you go. I will see you all in my next video. For some reason, I feel like this was like a sign for me not to film this video. My light dies and then my memory card is full. It's like someone doesn't want me to film this.